Hey guys, welcome to Tugs for Friday! What the fuck? Oh, sorry, hold Wrong on. Wrong show, bro. Wrong show. I put on the, the awesome gunners and I forgot. Uh, well, oh, let's, now I can see. Let, yeah, let's try that again. Hello and welcome to Inside Gaming Daily Woo! for Friday, yes? Yes! Woo! Oh my goodness, I'm your host Matt Danovic and with me... Elliot, not your host. But I'm oh, here today. You're, that makes you the host. I guess so. You're the I host. am standing here. You are standing here. So let's get mad at Valve. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. We is got Steam it. fucking up? Yep. I think it might be, or possibly. I mean, I know you never thought you'd see the day, but here we are. After several years of relative public relations success, Valve has officially screwed up and pissed off its fans. Yeah. Ugh. Ah. But. Lord Gaben, how could you do this? Don't you care about the fans? Well, it turns out that a move that, at least on the surface, was supposed to help out the fans who make the games you love even better, is now looking like a pretty heartless money grab on Valve's part. Mm, yeah, the announcement came yesterday as Valve was enabling modders within their community to be able to sell their work. And at first glance, it appears to be a reasonable idea. Why shouldn't people be paid for the work they put in on a product that potentially thousands of people would enjoy? Sure. However, the devil's in the details, as some aspects of the program either weren't clearly thought out or, you know, just plain out kind of, kind of suck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, first and probably the main problem people have with the deal is the revenue split. Now, no one's surprised that because modders are using Steam as a distribution platform that Valve would want some sort of cut, but the balance seems to be way off to many as it was revealed that the mod creators would only get 25% of the revenue with the rest being split between Valve and the game publishers. Which also means that to get paid, the modder has to sell $400 to see any money since Valve only pays you once you profit $100. And while yes, the people who have been making items in TF2 and Dota have been getting the, that basic split this mm -hmm. whole time. To a lot of people, it feels low for mods that can potentially uh, change the whole game. Yeah, games mods are important. Change. Mods give games extra life. And isn't that what it's all about? You have nice terminology there. Mm -hmm. Give them an extra life. <laughs> give, yeah, extra life gamers. levels them up. <laughs> So the result thus far is the mod pricing being just all over the place. It's a mess. You got one bundle that has some swords, armor, a companion, a town, and some graphical improvements being sold for $30, which makes the initial sticker shock understandable when Steam often sells AAA titles for less than a lunch at McDonald's. Yeah, it's really just, uh, they're like, I don't know, you charge what you want. See, the thing is, no one is actually against modders getting paid for hard work. The problem lies in its execution. Anyway, for instance, the whole Steam return policy seems like a giant problem, as summed up by one concerned modder on the Steam community forums who said, Let's say a consumer buys a mod, then one week later the modder releases an update. This update has a bug and the game crashes or glitches out. Then let's say, for whatever reason, even a good one, like real life got in the way, the modder doesn't release an update to fix the bug. Before today, big deal. You could either uninstall a mod or revert to a previous version. Given it was free, most people wouldn't complain too much. But now, a consumer will likely be stuck with a useless piece of software they paid good money for. Software that now is worth zilch. They will be, understandably, really upset with no way to get their money back. So, you know, we really hope that Valve can figure out their way out of this whole PR and organizational mess of a marketplace so people's hard work can be compensated for while not completely destroying the spirit of the free modding community. Oh Lord Gaben, come down with your enchanted knife collection and cut out the bullshit. Really though, you guys just need to curate the damn marketplace. A scotch more and that'll help a shit ton more. Please. A scotch? A scotch. A smidge. A little, whatever. Is that Yiddish? It's, I, I don't know. Ricky's got that book. We should look it up. Yiddish for Yankees. Yiddish for Yankees, all you Yanks. <sighs> Spoiler, we're, we're, we're not Jews. Not Jews. Not Jews. Believe anyway, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to our second story today in Inside Gaming Daily. Turns out, Marvel is teaming up with Telltale Games. Telltale announced that just around the corner, all the way in 2017, they will be bringing their own brand of storytelling to the Marvel Universe. This is cool. Yeah. So anyway, the announcement on their blog reads, Announced this evening in San Francisco, we're excited to reveal an all new partnership with the incredible team at Marvel Entertainment. We'll be teaming up on the development of an upcoming Telltale game series project set to premiere in 2017. As always, stay tuned here for the latest news and details on this and all of our upcoming projects as they become available. The same modder who did the thing also works for Telltale? He is a renaissance man. This guy, this guy gets around. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it should be noted that it is Project Singular, 
So it's potentially one storyline. Mm -hmm. And if we look at what's being made in the movies in the Marvel Universe around that time, we got the Civil War, we got some Thor thing, and Infinity War. So, I mean, who knows, maybe it's one of those things. Or, or maybe they will finally make that Paste Pot Pete you know, universe story that I've been I have no I've been idea asking. what that is. He is a <laughs> scientist who invented a alchemist si an al to alchemists try to turn materials into gold. Yeah, come on. He made a super sticky polymer that he shoots at things and then uses uses to do crime. Gripping. No, he's like a poor man Spider-Man. Kinda. Later became known as the Trapster. As the Trapster, because that's so, hip. Here's my question slash concern about this news. All, right. All the Telltale like IP tie-ins don't actually feature any of the characters you love from the original IP. Right. It always features a side story featuring can, brand new stuff. Because it can't affect the canon, that's right. Right, so what the fuck does this mean for Marvel? Well, like Marvel is so gigantic. It doesn't like, they can just be like, eh, do your thing over in that corner there. But that means you won't be controlling Iron Man, Thor, Spider-Man, any of your favorites. Maybe you get Vision. Remember Vision? Oh yeah. He's got a little white cake. Yeah. He is. God damn it! He is, actually. Can we, yeah, you're right. Never mind. I guess you don't get Vision. I didn't see that one coming. Move to trailers! That's sorry. All right, yeah, it's trailer time. What do we got, Phil? Uh, Witcher 3, the Wild Hunt TV show. Oh, good. Oh, good. 30 seconds. It's 30, it's real quick. You have no excuse not to watch it at least four times. That's only two minutes of your time. Yeah. Even though it's not a Phil's pick. That's true. And that's it. No approval stamp. No we'll get. Opinion. I don't we'll even get know a, why we're talking we'll, about it. We'll get. A, we'll get a nega. A Phil's nega pick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's it for Inside Gaming Daily for Friday. Thank you so much, Elliot, for being on here. Oh, it was a joy. And so you want the kids to tell them, tell tell us, and tell you what they think about the Steam crap? Yeah. Tell us what you think about the Steam crap. Here's the thing about kids, though. Oh, yeah. They don't like paying for anything. That's true. So I'm sure they just hate the entire concept of paying for mods. Yeah. Well, I. Yeah. I don't know. People people like to seem magnanimous and be like, ooh, we'll pay. Maybe. Either we'll way, see. either way, let us know in the comments. And it's Friday, so uh, before we go, here it is. The best video ever. Yay! Oh my god. This segment's back. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh -oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. 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 Don't say I didn't I'm warn you. Oh. <laughs>